Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. July 20, 2020, the talk is cheap edition. First up, from the Financial Times, why COVID-19 is a gift for cyber, cyber criminals by Jillian Tett. She points out that cybercrime levels have multiplied at a 6,000% increase in the COVID-related spam cases. Um, Some of these examples are around PPP, PPE, uh, and uh, other attacks where uh, companies are desperate to get products out and utilize e-commerce, and the cybercriminals are... Uh, basically denying them this. So uh, watch out on your cybersecurity and keep advised on any suspicious emails. Next up in our lead story, Talk is Cheap, from the Wall Street Journal, your company says diversity is a high priority. Now what? Calling for change is the easy part, but what are some of the concrete steps that you can take? And I found this uh, an excellent article. They include... Do a full audit. Uh, start with a, an honest and transparent audit uh, of diversity in your company. Two, rethink leadership. It's the first step for executives stepping down over insensitive comments or behavior. The second step is replacing them with leaders who are fair and transparent. Executives on the job should devote adequate funds to diversity-minded employee resource groups so they have the money to bring in speakers and host events. What are you doing along those lines? Uh, number three, standardized hiring. When you invoke the phrase cultural fit when deciding who to hire or fire, uh, when you bring in minority candidates or you have minority employees, do you often, or rather, are they accused of um, not fitting in? So your hiring process should be to standardize, to avoid uh, interviews which bring unconscious bias to the table as well as uh, after they're hired. Creating a pipeline. Uh, What have you done to create a pipeline to bring qualified minority candidates to your company's attention? So um, that's one more thing. And finally, be an advocate. If you're not in a position to write a big check or to an educational program or make hiring decisions, you can still be a force for change. There are spaces uh, for very uncomfortable for black people to be in. So think about uh, how women have had to walk around going to the uh, do a bar with a few men. Well, when a few buddies get together for a drink, that's when deals get done. That's when promotions get done. So be sure and think about these things uh, and really don't just talk the talk, really walk the walk and insist that your company do so as well going forward. Uh, Next up, the um, company that owns Vimeo has said that uh, it will um, not give out quarterly reports Uh, whether this is an attempt to hide or I actually just want to get away from the insanity of the quarterly hockey stick, stick, it's unclear. And then finally, now that half of Oklahoma is officially Indian land, what's going to happen to the oil and gas industry? Uh, The Supreme Court recognized this could be one of the challenges moving forward from its recent um, decision recognizing the treaty between the U.S. government and the Creek Indian Nation had never been abrogated what's going to happen to all those titles, the pollution risks, and the royalty payments. They are, now, are they going to go to the Creek Indian Nation? Thanks for listening to this episode of the Daily Compliance News, which is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. 